The purpose of this video is to give you the opportunity to think about how to instill a customer service culture across your whole organisation. For me, the key word in all of this is the culture, the culture of the organisation, getting the behaviour right. By culture, in terms of the customer service culture, what we're talking about is making sure that your whole organisation is geared around providing the best possible service to your customers and that is addressed at a strategic high level, not only at the front line where you know that you've got people who meet your customers daily or engage with them on the phone or are working with them face to face. You need to decide what your organisation stands for and what it doesn't stand for and that you communicate that very clearly backed up with training for all your staff so there is a very consistent approach across your whole organisation. Wherever your customer goes, whether they are an internal or an external customer, a stakeholder or a service user, they receive a similar set of standards, they receive similar communication and an equally high quality of outcome is achieved. The Board of a Mental Health Trust in London that provides services to people with mental health problems and mental illnesses ensures that at the beginning of every board meeting they spend time with a service user or a patient, a member of a family or a carer, to find out what their experiences have been like of accessing services and accessing support from staff. This helps them to remember throughout the meeting afterwards who is at the centre of every decision that they make. It's not a token gesture, it's actually the way in which they make sure that all their strategic plans, all their financial information, their budgets, their performance indicators are taken in the context of the most important people, the service users, the people, the customers, if you like, of the services that they provide. We've worked with an organisation that really espoused fantastic customer-related values. Their website was covered in commitments to customer service. Everything that they wanted to do was about providing excellent service. Nothing was too much trouble. You could ring them day or night. The chief executive's phone number was on the website. In practice, of course, what we found was the gap between what they were selling and what they were providing was vast. It's really important that you test the congruence of your commitments and your behaviour as an organisation. And if the gap is wide, that you address that through your policies and strategies, but also through training, customer service orientation, and making sure that people are really clear about what's expected of them. And you're realistic about what you can deliver. And if you can't deliver, a Rolls-Royce service because that's not what's expected of you, it's not affordable, it's not appropriate, that you make that clear both to your staff and to your customers and you justify that. Decide on your model. Are you going to provide a personal service like John Lewis or an impersonal service like Amazon? Both are really successful they are very different models. It's your choice. There's a spectrum, there are choices in between. Just be very clear about what you're doing and why and make sure that you make it as clear as you can to your customers as well as to your staff so that their expectations are appropriately managed. If staff are given the space to express themselves and to make decisions, to support their customers, to give something a little extra, then that will really help for them to feel part of the customer experience and to embody that culture. It happened to me just the other day in a very well-known chain of coffee shops where I went and bought a sandwich and a cup of tea and I was given the cup of tea for nothing by a member of staff who said, oh, we can just do that. If we see somebody um, every now and again, we just think, you know what, they look like they need a cup of tea or they need a drink, we just give them a free one. And I inevitably went and told everybody I knew that that particular chain had done that amazing thing that day for me. In summary, it's really important that the whole organisation embraces a customer orientation, that the whole organisation gets the customer culture. And that means you, 
you at the top level, your board, your top leaders, espouse that in a real way, not in a way that when it's tested really crumbles because you need to be able to show that the customer is at the centre of your organisation and is in, at the centre of your working lives and at the working lives of all your teams, your staff and the people at the front line.